Hey guys, so today is uh, the Wednesday sort of before Hurricane Milton in uh, Central Florida, Orlando. I picked up some sandwich stuff because uh, if in case I lose power, sandwich stuff, I guess, you know, maybe make some sandwiches beforehand. Um, we're gonna make a sandwich for you today. So this is gonna be a roast beef sandwich. Uh, I went on YouTube to try to look up some recipes. A lot of them are the hot roast beef sandwich. This is a cold cut sandwich. Obviously it's a cold cut sandwich. Who, who needs to teach you how to make a recipe, but we're gonna do some seasoning. We have some sauce and stuff. So let's check it out. So obviously this time, um, I don't make the mistake of constructing it away from you. It's going to be right in front of you guys, right? So we've got some nice toasted bread. Uh, this side's a little bit more toasted, a little softer here. So we're going to go with the sauce. Uh, what, what's the sauce? So it's pretty simple. Mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, um, horseradish, and a little bit of black pepper. So, and, and, and that's all proportions to taste. You, you know, I don't know how mayo-y you like it. I don't know how mustardy you like it. I don't know how uh, spicy horseradishy you will like it. For me, the horseradish is critical. Uh, just goes so well with roast beef. And how can go wrong with that? We don't even need a knife. We're doing spoon here because we're spooning it all the way. Everywhere, right? Boom. That's done. Um, roast beef. <laughs> I think this normally goes for like $14 a pound. I got it for $8 a pound on sale. So it's not great. It's, it's, it's very thin. You can see it's, it's very thin, but again, I like going with what you can get, worrying less about, you know, getting everything exactly the same, uh, exactly the way, you know, the recipe says or whatever, right? This is Cracker Barrel, um, sliced cheese. This was four, sorry, four, four dollars for two packs. It's a little bit unfortunate. You can see how thick it is. It's almost like made for charcuterie and not really sandwiches. But hey, again, we're going with what we got. So get that on there. It's a coverage. All right, sweet. Um, I think we're going to go. Yeah, I think we're going to go here. So tomato. Oh, boy. So the wetness of the tomato sort of leaked out. That's all good. And then I also want to do this. So. What we got here, I have a salamander. If you've got a decent knife, just cut it really thin. I know some guys are like horseradish, onions, what is this? I don't know, man. I don't know about you, but something about like like roast like beef and onions and horseradish just sort of makes sense to me. So if you don't like these flavors, do pickles and lettuce. You know, whatever. So alright, we got a little bit. That looks good. So we got season. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. I think, yeah, like drizzle of olive oil, I think it'll be good. Mm -hmm. Oops, yeah, it looks good. And then I think we got to go again. That, that was not much um, goodness in that sandwich. I think we're going to do a few more slices of roast beef. Oh, geez, actually, we need cheese. I just realized that. So honestly, here, here, here's the sandwich technique. I'm gonna teach you guys. What you could have done was put the cheese right here, but that's gonna slide. I mean, I don't know if you, you've eaten a sandwich before. The, the tomato's gonna slide on that. That's not, that's no good. So we're gonna go like that, put one thin slice. Then, like these are the little things, right? Because you ever had a sandwich and the, the whole the whole tomato is just a ooze right, right out of your sandwich. Who wants that? So now we got that. I think that's enough, just for sure enough cheese. And then another. I think that's how many slices. I'm trying to, by the way, I'm trying to like figure out the weight of how much, because I've been using the cheese as much as, yeah, I think that's fair. Wait, um, yeah, it's fair. We got half a pound here, half a pound here. You know, I want even-ish kind of proportions. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Boom. All right, let's check that out. Oh, yeah. And look at this jam. That's your view right there. All right, we're gonna go to Darwin view on the sandwich. So let's go again with money shot. Oh boy, that's your money shot right there. There we go. All right, <laughs> let's try to eat over the cutting board so we don't make a mess. I'm not with that. Oh jeez, yeah, it's falling apart. Yeah, nice layers, cool.
Mhm. Mhm. Onions, creamy horseradish, roast beef. For reference, don't get, get this stuff. It's so thick. It's just like, I don't think, yeah, it, but, see, I wish I could do like a slice and a half of that stuff. Maybe I should, maybe I could have done that, honestly. But it's just so thick. I think even if it's not too much cheese, when you bite into it, it's just like, it's like eating a block of cheese in your sandwich. So personally, get it thinner next time. Don't get the Cracker Barrel stuff. I honestly don't know what this is meant for. It's just so thickly cut. Um, and it's extra sharp too, so it's very strong in flavor. But then again, you got onions and roast beef here. And that horseradish, big flavors, bold flavors. Roast beef cheddar, absolutely fantastic. I recommend it. Another sandwich recipe for you guys. Until next time, cheers later.